Hey guys, it's April. I just wanted to make a quick video because I know some of you have not transitioned to soft food yet and I know Jess specifically asked for uh, some information on what I'm eating currently in soft food. Now granted, I just switched to soft food on Tuesday, so I have not had an opportunity <laughs> to eat a lot of it yet, but I will definitely show you some of the things that I've got. Honestly, a lot of this came from watching other people's videos, so if this is helpful to you anyway, if great, it, uh, great. If not, then, you know, sorry. But I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I picked up and I'll show you some of the things that I'm already eating as well. I literally have hardly had any time to eat a lot of stuff because in order for me to get my water in and try to get my protein in, which has been virtually impossible since I started consuming food to get in as much protein, but I'm doing my best. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff. Obviously, I'm gonna start off with these first. I know you guys have seen them before because I've seen them before in videos, but in, just in case you haven't, uh, they make these, it's upside down because I opened the wrong end. It's diamond. They make these little cups. They're two ounce cups. They're freaking perfect. They're this size, okay? So I took a bunch of things and I, you know, portioned them out in those and that works really well for me. Uh, but so that's what I've got so far. So I'll just show you some of the things that I bought and then I'll tell you about some of the things that I've eaten so far. I bought some unsweetened applesauce because it's allowed by my surgeon. I have a sleep sister who says her surgeon does not allow applesauce because of the amount of fiber in it. This only has two grams of fiber in it, so I wouldn't think that's too much, but yeah. So if you can eat it, haven't tried it yet because, again, not able to eat very much. I bought some ricotta because I'm going to make the ricotta bake eventually. <laughs> Maybe this, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I just, I've had so little time since I started all this. I'm just super happy to be able to eat. Uh, my staple cottage cheese, this is low fat, 2% cottage cheese. It's 90 calories for half a cup, so it's 45 calories and 6.5 grams of protein for, for half a thing. So I also bought these. And these do have a lot of um, sugar. In them because of the fruit so I only just barely dip my spoon in the fruit and kind of eat it with my cottage cheese but I really like it um, hummus haven't eaten any yet but I bought it and the stats on it were pretty good servings of two tablespoons is 50 calories four carbs and two grams of protein but it's soft you know what I mean of course I bought me some sugar-free snack pack I don't really have a desire to eat it yet, though. So, uh, this stuff, okay, I haven't eaten it yet. I'm going to eat some today, but because I, I, I made some up. Turkey chili, 98% fat-free. It does have a lot of calories, uh, but it only has, for a cup, which I'm only going to eat a quarter of, it has three grams of fat. So, less than a gram of fat for that. Um, also... It does have quite a bit of carbs, but again, 16 carbs divided by four, four carbs. 23 grams of protein, four cup. So, you know, it's pretty good. It's something different. I bought a bunch of these because we had them on sale at a local store for buy one, get one for a penny. So I got a bunch of this laughing count. I haven't eaten it yet. I want to, but you know, my stomach says, oh, I'm good. And I got some of these also, the minis. I haven't haven't eaten any of those yet either while they're still in the package I literally I eat maybe two two ounce containers a day truthfully and I've got some oikos because I initially bought it to put in to, to make my protein shakes but I also have some oikos the little you know they're but they're 120 calories they got quite a bit of carbs in them but they do have pretty good protein cap <laughs> okay now this I'm sure is not I know that it's not good before I even show you I totally know that it's not good it's high in carbs but it does have quite a you know it's high in calories but it's got some protein in it and I actually saw this on a bariatric eating thing this was with somebody was talking about gone through soft food but I got roast beef hash I really like hash so I'll probably try it <laughs> two ounces of it 
I'm not feeling like mathing right now, but it's got 24 grams of fat. So divide that by four is what, like six? And then it's 380 calories. So whatever that would be divided by like 70 something calories, I think, eight, 80 something. And 19 grams of protein. So, you know, I mean, for the amount that I'm, it's, this is not something, I'm not condoning this. This is not something that I would eat later down the line, but it's a means to an end during the uh, pureed and soft food phases. And, and, you know, as I told my nutritionist yesterday, she said, a lot of those things that you're mentioning are really good. My only concern would be the fat content of them. And I said, totally, I understand that. But this is just something that I'm doing in order to get me by while I'm in this stage. Once I'm able to eat more solid foods with higher protein count and things of that nature, you know, whole vegetables, be totally different but hey you got to do what you got to do so these are the little portions that I portioned up you know this is cottage cheese this is ricotta this is my turkey chili that I blended up you will need to blend it up if you're on puree because it's still kind of chunky also I, I've already <laughs> what's been my staple the last few days that I initially started well I started with cottage cheese but then I had some tuna salad okay so I had bought these pre-made market side uh, tuna salad and chicken salad from Walmart because I thought that's soft. I pureed it, pureed it up and it is freaking delicious. I've got chicken salad. They're marked see, chicken salad and then tuna salad. Okay. So these are what I have been eating and I typically eat one of these in a sitting and that's usually it. Last night I did have I'm not going to lie. I have some mashed potatoes because I bought KFC from a family the other night and I just portioned me up some mashed potatoes. It's like 40 calories for one of these, so I'm not going to beat myself up over it. The most I've eaten, if anything, is I had one of these last night and a thing of cottage cheese. And basically, I just felt kind of gurgly and burpy and uncomfortable, so I guess that's my full feeling. It's not a feel, it's not a feeling like a normal full feeling that I felt previous to surgery, so I don't really know. Um, refried, refried beans, fat-free refried beans. I also have some of these. I portioned quite a bit of them up. These are spicy refried beans. I haven't tried them yet. Again, haven't had a chance. Got to drink that water. That's what's important to me. So that's pretty much what I'm doing currently. What's working for me. As I said, this is only like, I've, I've only been eating food for two days. So I had a protein shake for breakfast, I had a two ounce portion of chicken salad for lunch in class today, and I am actually in 10 minutes, it's time for me to eat something else. So I think I'm gonna try something different. Uh, I don't really, I'm kind of, I'm weird about trying different things. I'm, I'm scared every time I put something in my mouth that it's gonna make me sick or whatever, but I really want to try these different things so that's what I'm doing anyway uh, eight minutes yeah that's totally plenty of time of yours that I've taken up but I just want to give you guys some ideas in case you were someone like me who struggled initially especially in liquid I struggled with that a lot these are the things that I have um, decided for for soft between Pinterest and previous YouTube videos and online sites, just things that I've found suggestions. So this is what I'm working with. If it's helping you out, that's great. If it gives you some ideas, that's awesome. Of course, I also have eggs, milk, you know, things like that, that I plan to eat as soon as I have the time and the, you know, time frame between liquids to do that. But that's what's going on. All right, guys, that was it. Just wanted to make that quick video to kind of help some of you, I'll give some of you some ideas that are still struggling pre-op in that liquid stage and wondering what you're going to do next. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if not, then I'm sorry. And maybe Google. I don't know. But all right. I will see you guys later. Hope you have a great week. Bye.